I have never been so impressed by a video game before, and to have that video game be Minecraft in 2024 is blowing my mind. Right now, I'm taking a look at Distant Horizon. There's a few other mods going on in the background here, but what Distant Horizon does is it uses some very, very clever GPU code to let you essentially render just about an infinite distance away from you. And why this is such a big deal is that Minecraft's world is essentially infinite. It's one of the main appeals of the game is just being able to go in any direction almost limitlessly. However, you've always been limited by what you could see in front of you, never really knowing what's over the next hill. And now we can see just about as far as you could possibly want to. And look at it at a decent frame rate, which as far as I know before was never possible. You could render things out in the distance, but the game engine would slow down, you would be limited. Distant Horizons is working some real magic behind the scenes to make this possible. Now I've also got the tectonic mod going here in the background, which scales things up in the Minecraft world to look better at distance. With the vanilla world generation, it still looks cool, but you kind of see these tiny biomes put together and the mountain ranges aren't quite as big or impressive. It almost doesn't work with the view distance. When you turn on tectonic, all of a sudden the world's size, its grandiose scale just feels much more impressive. Now whether or not you want to play in that world is really up to you, but I was really enjoying the incredible vistas uh, provided by both combined. And just in case you forgot what vanilla Minecraft looked like in comparison, this is it here. Certainly a fun playable game, but the atmospherics, the uh, the feeling of being in a massive world of the scale that Minecraft actually is, isn't quite portrayed, at least not to the scale, not to the fidelity that these mods can do. Especially if you look at the game on default settings where the view distance is even lower, the world just isn't really done justice for the impressiveness that is Minecraft. I mean, just look at the comparison between the two. It's two completely different games that are actually the exact same game and play out in the exact same way. Now, I've been following this tech as it's been in development and at one point getting all this stuff up and running required a bit of technological know-how, a little bit of scripting and stuff like that. But now it's very simple. I followed a 10 minute tutorial, which I'll leave a link to in the video description, and I was up and running in, in the game in no time. And as far as I know, it just works. You can use all the mods that you like using for the most part. Uh, aside from shaders though, this did require um, specific shaders, which are part of the instruction set and installing them and all that. I think it's called Bliss and it, it looks fantastic. I mean, I feel like I'm playing Minecraft for the first time all over again, really exploring. Like, look at this exploring this underwater cave it just it it feels like a brand new game now of course i'm sure some of you guys are wondering well why the heck didn't somebody else just increase the view distance in a mod call it good what makes this one different why why can't anyone just crank the view distance all the way up well firstly you can crank the view distance all the way up and sort of break the game limitations that way and you can also watch your computer catch on fire even though minecraft is just about as low poly as a game can get uh, if you render out kilometers and kilometers and kilometers of landscape it's still going to become high poly at the end of the day with not a lot of ability to reduce the level of detail without some very clever coding well, that very clever coding was added by this mod using what is kind of like a skybox technology. The world is essentially broken up into two render zones. We've got the playable zone where you will see chickens and cows and things doing other things in the distance. And then you have the zone beyond that. Consider it like a circle or a sphere around you that's further away. And that's rendered out in a different way. It breaks the world up into chunks and then reduces them into basically even lower poly versions of themselves. This is normally called level of detail, but because Minecraft is already so low poly, the level of detail system scaling for normal rendering is already kind of at its max. This guy figured out a way to push it even further and get incredible performance while doing so. 
like right now this is on a computer with a 3080 ti and i'm getting well over 100 fps and this is my view distance trying to do this with the traditional render engine just not possible. Now the one little catch here about how this trick works, if you will, is that anything in that second distance, that sort of skybox distance of rendering level of detail, is not going to be an interactive segment of the world. You're not going to see players fighting or like blowing things up that far away. I think that's a pretty small price to pay for such an incredible visual upgrade. Now Distant Horizons isn't necessarily a brand new mod for Minecraft, but the 2.0 update came out recently and that's made it uh, easier for people to write shaders for it. It's got its own API now and people can kind of go to town here and it almost feels like this is the branch of Minecraft. There's been a bunch of different shader or modding approaches to uh, take a crack at upgrading the visuals for the game and it seems like this could be the official direction. I absolutely wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft was just like can we can we buy this mod and integrate it to our base game because it's so freaking impressive. Like I think it's important to, to maintain the original look of the game and sort of keep that as an option. You can always go back to at any point with Minecraft because it's historically important and it's interesting to see where it all started. This mod is so impressive that it, it got me back into Minecraft. I wanted to play it. Now I want to get it set up on the family computer and play some Minecraft with my son who's getting into the game. This is going to blow his mind. It's got me excited about Minecraft all over again after all these years. And to maybe get a bit silly with the metaphor of Minecraft, but maybe this really is at the heart of what makes this game so popular and why it's lasted so long is that it started off as a game of infinite world size and essentially infinite complexity in terms of what you wanted to build and do. Since then, the devs have just been expanding upon the project, increasing those possibilities in many sorts of gameplay areas and improving some of the render opportunities and adding new adventures and things that you could do but increasing the view distance now to essentially seemingly infinite. Infinite seems to be a, a through line, a theme of Minecraft, and I don't ever see this game going away or getting topped at this point. As long as there's a community that works this hard to create such incredible mods, and if Microsoft can take those mods and try and inject them to the core experience, down the road so that anybody getting in down the road has just got access to such incredible stuff right away, right out of the box. I see this really becoming a forever game at this point. Anyway, I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about this incredible new technology for Minecraft. Is it enough to get you guys back into the game if you've taken a break? Have you never taken a break and you're like, finally level, you've you've paid some attention to what's going on in Minecraft? Let me know in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe for more content like this, ding that notification bell to beat the YouTube algorithm with me. And up next, check out this other incredible tech video on Star Citizen getting 800 players into a single solar system. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.